Okay, we're just going to give you a rundown of this 78 Mercedes 300D. You can kind of see the car is a good runner. All the parts are here, but it's not in perfect, it's not in perfect cosmetic shape, you know. The paint on the car is good, but I mean, to really have it nicer, it doesn't have to be repainted, you know. There's a little bit of fade going on, you know, there's some chips, you know, in the paint. But for somebody's first car, you know, I think this would be a great option. I mean, we've seen the reliability of these Mercedes. We've seen the crash tests of these cars. So we know that they're very safe. That's actually, that's right there, that's bird poo. I need to clean off. That's not, that's not a scratch. But, and you know, just a little parts of the paint where it's kind of deteriorating a little bit. The tires are pretty good. All the hubcaps are here. You see a little bit of paint. Looks like someone tried to touch up themselves some paint right there. But you know, for the price, I mean, these engines themselves are worth quite a bit. So let's give it a start and I'll show you how she runs. So the interior, you know, the interior is not in perfect condition. But it's okay. The front seats are pretty good, you know. They have a little bit of wear. The back seat though, the back seat does have a few issues, you know, there. There's a little bit of tears right here, you can see. You could lay a big old blanket or a carpet over that, you know, kind of hide it. Other, or, you know, I have extra seats in my junk cars that are in good shape, but they'd be a little bit of different color. You know that you can always find these seats from another maybe wrecked one that would be a nice shape you can just swap out it might be a different color it might even be the same color but you know they're very easy to replace you know very easy to replace Griff is good you know it's coming off a little bit a little tear right here just in the sunroof yeah let me give you a start so you can kind of see how she runs The little glow plug button is down here, someone had installed. Let me just start it up for you. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't turn the key all the way, that's why the glow plugs are now warming up. You can see I'm holding the button here. Okay, that's long enough. The car's got 218,000 miles. The radio's working, you can hear that. The windows are working. Hopefully you can see that through the quality. But yeah, the, the windows, you know, they work. And the heater, the fan, the fans are working. I wonder if you can hear that. But no, no AC, you know. We haven't had the time to check if it's leaking or if there's a compressor's not working. But it may be hard to hear, I know, but the car runs very good, you know. Even buying it just for the engine might be pretty decent. Battery's very good. So I, I put this new battery in this spring. So and you can see, I mean, it started up fine. And I'll show you the vacuum is working to shut off the engine too. I hope you can hear that. It's off. <laughs> 